Vivarium, and Yingling Light. What do these have in common? Crappy movie? Crappy beer. Ugh. Let me explain. Vivarium stars Jesse Eisenberg as Tom and Imogen Poots as Gemma. And they're looking for a house. So they go to a real estate agent and he decides to show them a home in a suburban area. While he's showing them around the house, he disappears. Tom and Gemma have then had enough, so they decide to head home. They get in their car and they start driving. Now, they can't find their way out. They're driving in circles, keep coming back to the same house, can't figure it out. Eventually, they run out of gas and they have to spend the night. Now, when they wake up, they go outside and there's a box. And the box is a baby boy. And the box says, raise the baby, get released. That's the movie. Awesome concept and a great premise. They could have done so much with this. And they squander it. They do nothing. This movie does nothing but repeat itself for an hour and 45 minutes. And it is just a slog to get through. Now, I'm fine with slow burn. In fact, I love it. But there has to be a point. This movie doesn't do that. It does nothing. The only real good thing that I can say about this movie is that it was well directed. And Imogen and uh, Jesse occasionally kind of have some good chemistry going on. But otherwise, no, this movie doesn't have a point and it goes nowhere. If you want to see a really good movie starring Imogen Poots and Jesse Eisenberg, go watch The Art of Self-Defense from last year. That is a fantastic movie and actually it was my favorite movie of 2019. I can wholeheartedly recommend that one. Vivarium, not so much. Five beards out of ten.